In this demonstration, we're going to look at the convert tools available in NX Sheet Metal. We have convert to sheet metal, we have sheet metal from solid, and under the more tab, we've got rip, clean up, and optimize. Um, most of these are available through the convert to sheet metal wizard. So in this particular design, I've got a very simple box that's been generated by modeling commands with a simple extrude, a chamfer on one end and a shell, and it's generated a box which we now need to manufacture out of sheet metal. So the first step really here is, well, let's just go ahead and convert. So I pick a face for convert, let's preview, and we can see we've got some issues here that some of the body contains edges that need to be ripped. We can't unfold this. So we'll cancel that, that, that now, and we'll go ahead and start the rip. So the rip command, I can select edges or curves. And if I just go around and pick the inside or the outside edges, these are the edges which I want to rip or separate before I do my conversion. And they've now been separated and I can go ahead and I can convert. And we've now got our converted body, but there's still some issues here. I've created some Ben radii in the corner, but this top edge is really not very good when it comes to manufacturing from sheet metal. We've got a chamfered edge there. So let's back up and let's look at the same process again and how we can get rid of that easily. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the wizard which will guide us through the steps that we need to take. So first optional step is rip, which we just did. So I'll go round and I will do my selection for rip once more and I'll do next and now we've got an option to clean up the cleanup utility is only if convert to sheet metal is not successful okay so we can run cleanup utility we've got optimized face that's available here um, and what I'm really going to do now is use the cleanup utility to tidy up these strange edges so I'm going to pick my base face and just as a note non-associative geometry is going to be created so I do next and if we look at this top edge we can see that it's been normalized or made perpendicular and I now finish and it creates my convert but what about my bend radius what's actually happened here in the cleanup process a very small bend radius has been created within the part so we're not actually using the default bend radius values from the preferences. If we go and have a look, we can see that our bend radius is three. So all we really need to do here, resize bend radius, run the command, use control A to select all of the bend radiuses. And the bend radius is now set to three and we're good to go. What I can now do is generate my flat pattern and we'll view that in a separate window. And just drop that to one side so we can so we can see both side by side. So we've got our part here and we've got our flat pattern. What we notice is some strange geometry, open geometry in the corners. So we need to go through and tidy that up a little bit, especially if this box is intended to be welded up again uh, to close those corners. So we'll use the close corner command and we'll select the bend faces either side of the corner. And what you can do with close corner, there's other videos that talk about close corner, but I can go through and I can select all four of these pairs and do all of these in a single operation. And what I've now got here, I've got a closed corner and I can say OK. Now what I had on the flat pattern is fix a timestamp turned on. Another wonderful feature. So I'll just pull the flat pattern to the end and we can see we've now got these corners in a, a tighter more control fashion, but I'm still not happy with this. this. This is really difficult to laser cut. So I'm gonna go back into closed corner 
And this is uh, a process used by one of our key customers. We use a U cutout. We have the origin as corner point and a diameter of 0.5. And we generate some geometry in a corner that's a lot easier and cleaner to generate the, the laser cut for this particular part. So that's the convert to sheet metal with clean up, rip, and the convert, and then using the corners on the end. So let's just have a look at another process, which is sheet metal from solid. I'll just return the geometry back to the start. And we'll have a look at convert uh, sheet metal from solid. So in this particular command, I now just select the individual faces. So I pick the base face, the first one, and it's now asking me to select another web face. And I've got a warning to say the preview may not be exactly right. Okay, that's fine. But what you see, it's automatically generated something outside of the original profile. What I need to do is just flip the thickness and we can generate that inside. So I've got two faces now. Let's generate the end face and the face that joins it. Okay, so we've got that bit there. And now the side face. Now the side face doesn't really know where to join the bend. It's ambiguous. So I now need to tell for this particular face where the bend edge is. And it's the bottom edge here and it resolves the issue. Go back and select the final face. Again, I'm prompted for the bend and that has been created and we've got a finished item with no need for clean up or rip. Now, one thing to note, you'll notice the geometry is slightly different because I selected a face, it's actually truncated this angled face back by the distance that the face was from the top. And this may be what you require, that just shows that this is now aligned across the top edge. But that's something that can be adjusted uh, to suit the design. So that's convert to sheet metal, sheet metal from solid, rip, and the cleanup utility. If you're importing foreign geometry and it still has some issues with these processes, there's always optimize face, and that simplifies the surfaces and improving accuracy and will improve the uh, the conversion process. One further comment on the differences between convert to sheet metal and sheet metal from solid. After I'd done my rip and I selected cleanup utility, I selected the inside face for cleanup and okayed that. With that then gave us this geometry based on the inside faces of the part. If I undo that and run cleanup utility, but pick the outside face and say, okay, we get the face as per the sheet metal from solid example that you've just seen.